Honduras begins developing the nation's first ever wind project. Where will India's first tidal power plant be built? And some potential issues with electric vehicles. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello and thanks for joining us today. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you the latest daily energy news for Tuesday, January the 18th. Leading off, Honduras is scheduled to begin electricity production next year in the nation's first wind park, the 102 megawatt Cerro de Hula Farm. The facility claims the status of Central America's largest wind park and will begin generating electricity next June. The plant will aid in the creation of almost 500 jobs. Cerro de Hula's turbines come from the leading Spanish company, Gamisa. The project took 15 years to finally reach commercial operation, but officials remain optimistic about the renewable power in Honduras. Atlantis Resource Corporation is on board to build India's first commercial tidal power plant in the state of Gujarat. The plant is expected to have an initial capacity of 50 megawatts to reach commercial operation by 2013. In the next phase, the plant's capacity will be increased to 250 megawatts, and officials say that the cost of the upgrade will be about $165 million. And finally, as electric vehicles gain popularity with the bundles of incentives offered by car companies and the government alike, lawmakers have noticed a drawback. Electric driving is often quiet and does not disturb the serenity of the environment. In fact, at low speeds, an EV is far quieter than its combustion engine counterpart. Though this seems like an appealing benefit, the silence can be deadly for pedestrian environments, children, those who are vision impaired, and others who need the sound of a car to be able to actually avoid it. In response, President Barack Obama has signed the Pedestrian Safety Enhancement Act that requires hybrids and electric cars to produce sound in order to ensure the safety of pedestrians. However, the law is only the first step in a process that can take multiple years to take effect to the roads. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching, and make sure you tune in tomorrow to check out your latest Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, wishing you a great day.